Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Juice, and we're going to go over this week's Simple and Sinister Err workout. So for this workout, we're going to have six exercises. You're going to go 40 seconds of hard work, 20 seconds to switch between exercises, and we're going to go through all six exercises four times. You ready, Juice? I'm ready. Okay, so we're going to start down on the floor with our push-ups here. So you can go down from those toes, squeeze those shoulder blades, push that air out as you press back up here. You can also go down from your toes, lower those knees, and then press up from your knees. Again, down from your toes up from your knees, or you can work from your knees, or you can work the chest press uh, on the TRX here. Our second exercise is our step up press. So we'll pull a box over here, grab one dumbbell. You're gonna go opposite arm and leg. So Juice has her left foot on the box, which means she's gonna be pressing with her right. She's gonna step up and throw that dumbbell right up to the ceiling. Deep breath in on the way down, push that air up, trying to crush that box as she steps up. You can either go 20 seconds and then switch sides on this, but I suggest you just do 40 seconds on one side. When we come back around, you can do 40 seconds on the other arm and leg. That way you get two sets in on each side on this one. From there, we're gonna go into our suspension trainer, reverse fly here. So leaning straight back, moving plank position, glute squeeze tight, legs are working here, toes pulled up. She's gonna get a soft bend in those elbows. She's gonna squeeze those shoulder blades, pushing, pushing her chest forward at the top here. So it's like she's gonna get ready for a big bear hug and then nice and controlled as she comes back down here. Now to make this one a little heavier, you step further in. To make it lighter, you step a little bit further out. You just wanna make sure that you can work this through the full range of motion without having to go into that row. We really wanna work those upper back and rear delt muscles on this one. From there, we're gonna grab a sandbag and we're gonna go to our bag cleans and squats here. So technically two moves here. Start with that bag at the feet, yank that bag up for those hands, up to your biceps, and then deep breath in as you sit into that squat, pushing that air as you drive back up. So over those hands to the bicep, drive on up. We're gonna clean it, straight legs, go all the way down, make sure you come all the way back up before you take that bag back down to the floor. Now 40 seconds can be a long time here, so if you need to, you'll take some extra breaths at the top here whenever you need to. Just make sure that you have your breathing right and you're doing every single rep well. From there, we're gonna go into our reverse lunge with rotation. So holding on to that bag at the hips, she's gonna step back into that reverse lunge and she's gonna rotate outside that front leg. So you wanna think you're gonna move that bag around that front knee here. Deep breath in on the way down, drive up on that front leg. If rotating here is causing some instability, you can hold that bag up there at your chest and just go into those reverse lunges for this one. From there, we're going to our last exercise, which is our ball hammer slam. So for this one, we're gonna make a big circle here like we're bringing that ball out of our back pocket, reaching high overhead, and then sitting into that slam here. So big circle, get some flexion, and then some extension on this one, back and forth, side to side. If this is causing any sort of discomfort with your lower back or hips, just go into that traditional ball slam. Okay, that's our simple and sinister er workout for this week. Great job, Juice. You too.